What is driving this? Who's getting the surgery? Why do people feel the need to change how they look? And also, what lengths are they willing to go to to get it all done? My first stop is the Aylesbury Clinic to speak with Dr. Patrick Tracy, an internationally recognized pioneer in aesthetic medicine. So what is aesthetics exactly? It all began in 1996 to 98, that period, three things came on board. One was the use of Botox aesthetically. The second one was dermal fillers, hyaluronic acid, and third one was IPL laser. And uh, we're unique in a way that as a clinic, as it was the home of aesthetic medicine, almost started in Dublin and, and probably started with us. We were ahead of aesthetic medicine in the United States by at least eight to nine years. Which is one of the reasons, I suppose, um, that Michael Jackson came to us originally. Yes. And that was to get hyaluronic acid taken out of his face. I treated Michael seven or eight times or Did more. Did you really? Wow. Yeah. Well, M Michael came here for years, yeah. My God, so do you have loads of famous friends? We have had over the years, certainly, and still would have, yeah. Both in Ireland and abroad. Do you find it hard, say, when you're talking to me, are you thinking, Jesus, she needs some fillers? So um, Botox is an obvious one. But you've got to be careful from the point of view that um, you've got some other problems we need to address. What? If you hold that for a moment. God almighty, I knew you, I shouldn't have come. <laughs> you, you, you've got fat pads on the neck your eyes. What? So if you were to do Botox, it could weaken it and your fat pad could come out to there. Oh my God. In terms of your face here, obviously, as you get older, you made a fat pad drops. So oh could, God. If I was you, oh. probably I'd... Tip up your lips slightly. You've got, what? You've got a lovely sort of shape to your lips, but as you get older, they flatten out here. Oh. Cupid's bow goes and this drops. If we even sort of put a little bit of Botox in here, yeah. and it turns this up. Oh, wow. I actually thought I was a bit of a right. Okay, what about here? What would we do there? Okay, so frown for a moment. I'd probably do Botox at this muscle that's causing that hollowing there, that'd be routine Botox, I suppose, Lucy, for most people. You're not unusual. 